In the next lecture, we are going to check whether this given string is palindrome or not. So what is palindrome? So if current given string is literal, then reverse of string is also literal. So these type of strings where reverse is same as actual string, those are palindrome and rest of the strings are not palindrome. Like ABCD is not a palindrome because reverse is not same as ABCD. So how we can solve this problem? We can solve it in multiple ways. There are improved versions of this problem as well, which you can find in download section. But here in this video, we are going to discuss simplest approach to solve the problem. So what we need to do is we need to first find length of the string. So that is something that we have done over here. And after that, we need reverse string as as well so we know the logic to find reverse string so that i have written over here so using this code we are finding reverse of the string we are calling that string as s2 we are also adding slash zero at the end of s2 so s1 is your actual string and s2 is reverse of the string so now only last task that remains is to check each character from the string if it is equal till the end that means the string is palindrome else it is not so we are going to write a for loop we are going to iterate through s1 starting from 0 till null character occurs and we are going to check s1 and s2 if those are equal if both the characters are equal till the end that means it is palindrome if anywhere in the loop there is a mismatch between both characters so we will print it is not a palindrome and we will exit the program immediately so there is no point in checking further iterations in the improved version of the program there is no requirement of creating this s1 however you can start checking values from this direction with other from this direction that program you can find in the download section.